being a Muslim in America sometimes becomes a really daunting task. And there are so many different things that happen in being a Muslim in America that are challenges. But a sheikh had recently talked to me and told me that all those little sacrifices you're making by being a Muslim in America, by being here, those sacrifices are all going to be blessings for you and you're getting expiated of sins. You're doing something that's hard. So for example, for the halal food, you, you aren't having halal food everywhere is super easy to get, right? So you're going to get a blessing for that. There's a reward in that. And there's barakah in that. Yeah, when you go to the gym, people are going to be a little more revealing. You're in a Western country. That's their culture. That's their society. So you lower your gaze there. Even more reward for you. You go to university here. There's going to be things that you don't get into and don't involve yourself in. You're being rewarded for that more because Allah knows how difficult it is to do the hard thing. Even when it comes down to like prayer times, our jobs don't care if we have times to pray here and there. They're just work, 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 right? But being able to say, hey, I have Friday prayer, so I will not be able to work from this time to this time. That's a sacrifice you'll have to make. What if you don't get the job because of that? Again, Allah sees that and will reward you for that. Even finding a community, it becomes hard. Whether it be racism, Islamophobia, or the lack of Islamic education in schools, or even being in schools where the education doesn't promote Islam in a positive light. This in turn has like an ignorance and faith, and then there's a stigma behind even talking about it. First and foremost is the re religious observance, right? Where you're being religious, you're a Muslim, you're fasting for Ramadan, no food or water from from basically what, five in the morning till seven at night at least. So that time of no food or water, you still have to go to job. You still have to do the work. You can't just choose to work at night because again, culture, society, it's in the morning. And even then you have to do certain things according to the system that you're living in. Allah knows and he knows how hard you're grinding. He knows how hard you're working for it. And it'll all pay off in the end. So always have that steadfast journey. Understand that again, it's that marathon of doing the right thing for Allah. And again, cultural adjustments, yeah, it happens. Like I always tell people like, yeah, I grew up in America, but when I went home, I was in Egypt. I was eating bamia roses. I, was eat I wasn't eating chicken nuggets and burgers. No, I was eating all the cultural foods. I wasn't eating what Americans were eating. I wasn't sleeping over at friends' houses. I wasn't going to the movie theaters. Heck, I wasn't even allowed to go to birthday parties even because my dad was like, oh, I don't know their family. I don't know who they are. But he didn't have time to find all that out. So again, was I supposed to be mad at my dad? No, it's just the cultural tradition. So again, I went home, Egypt, went to school, America. So growing up in two different cultures like that really does affect you. And then when, you, when I went back to Egypt, every year basically that we could, they think you're just an American. So it's like, no matter where you go, you're not really 100% welcome. And that becomes a struggle, even in your deen where you're a Muslim in America, then you go back to your homeland and you're a Muslim there and you're thinking, wait, being a Muslim in America by myself is easier sometimes than being in Egypt or being somewhere else, being Muslim there, because then people think you're a little too religious or a little too that or this, and it's weird. They expect you not to be religious. They expect you to be a part of your American, and it's weird because what if you're not? Another big thing is, again, like community support. When I went to university, the closest mosque to the university I went to was 45 minutes to an hour away. That is so far comparative to where around here where I live currently, the nearest one's 10 minutes away or 20 minutes away or 30 minutes away or one that's 35 minutes away. So there's multiple places where there's mosques nearby. But I had to go to a university where it's an hour away. I didn't think about that when you're in high school. You just kind of go into the colleges as things see fit. And again, I'm blessed for the experience because it made me have to be myself even in an environment where there probably wasn't even one Muslim person around me. Even when it comes down to like the workplace, like we said, things happen on a certain time. Hey, you have a meeting here to here to here. You have a boss who tells you that. But then it's like, hmm, wait a minute. Like I have to pray this, this time, this time before the next prayer starts. But you don't have that privilege. So again, in a Muslim country, you might have that privilege. So again, that's a sacrifice you're taking. And Allah sees that you're grinding. He sees the effort. He sees the intention. And always know that Allah judges us based on our intentions. So make sure you know that. Another thing is obviously the Islamophobia and the racism that one might go through. A Muslim woman, you're wearing the hijab. People are going to judge you and look at you differently. My father was a taxi driver in New York after 9-11. Imagine how it was when people hopped into his taxi cab and said, oh, he's an Arab. No way, I'm hopping out and how much harder it was for him to make income and support the family. So it made me realize like, wait a minute, like this is something that you go through that you wouldn't have to have gone through if you were back in your home country. But again, those sacrifices you're taking, Allah sees and will reward you. Even when it comes to the education, it's hard to be educated about Islam in America. People don't get taught what Islam is. People don't get taught it because again, it's a sense of taboo topic to talk about. Oh, they're terrorists. Oh, they're this. That's what the news stations are saying. Oh, they're just this, they're just that. But again, that's not what it is at all. But again, that's what the news is telling you. So, hey, that's all I've ever seen about it. So that's what I believe. 
And again, it's that bias that you end up living in. And again, that goes back to that global perception of Islam. Like, what is Islam seen as? Is Islam seen as a peaceful religion, the fastest growing religion around the world? Or is it seen as this barbaric thing? And it's so confusing because growing up Muslim, I'm like, hey, like, my family isn't barbaric. We're not terrorists. But then people in the news or, and Americans in the area would see us like that. I'm so confused. I'm like, what? Like, my parents had never hurt anyone. But again, it's what they're taught. The ignorance isn't their fault. It's what the media is showing them. So again, these are some different struggles that being Muslim in America kind of has happened in my own life personally. And I just want to reach out to you guys, especially if you're Muslim, watch this video and to know that it's okay. It happens. We get it. Like, life is like that. You know, you're not going to win every battle. You're not going to have every single thing happen. It's going to be harder. But because it's harder, the reward is going to be greater. So just remember that and stay steadfast as much as you can. And if, hey, in the comments down below, please let me know what you guys think. And if there's anything I missed that I haven't talked about, please let me know. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions. And again, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and get it to all your friends. I want to do well on the YouTube algorithm here. Get this video promoted everywhere so people can learn a little bit about Islam. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. And then I'll be here next Friday as well, post another video. So I'm excited to see you guys then.